The Shining is a 1980 film. It was directed by Stanley Kubrick and stars Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, and Danny Lloyd. Jack Torrance gets a job as the caretaker of an isolated Colorado hotel known as The Overlook, where himself, his wife, and son move to for the winter. But once they settle in, the hotel's dark past haunts the mind of Jack and drives him to insanity. When I went to Colorado last week, I actually visited the hotel that The Shining is based on, the Stanley Hotel. It was a really cool experience. I learned so much background on the hotel as well as how The Shining came to be. If you're ever in Denver, I highly recommend you go check it out. It's only about an hour and 20 minute drive. The funniest part is beforehand, I did not realize the hotel we see in The Shining movie is not the same thing as as the hotel the book is based on, the Stanley Hotel. The Stanley Hotel is completely separate from everything we see in this movie. What we see in this movie, the exterior shots, those are shots of a different hotel, and everything we see inside of the hotel we think is the same as the hotel we see in the exterior shots. That hotel is just a set, so sorry to disappoint you guys, but go check out the real Stanley Hotel. When I was a little kid, I never in a million years would have dared to watch The Shining. The only time I saw a few scenes from this movie was when I watched the film Twister. We do have a scene in that movie where they're at a drive-in theater and they're watching The Shining. I had no clue what The Shining was, but during that drive-in theater scene, they do show the twins, and that terrified me. That's one of two scenes that has always terrified me. The second one being the scene in the bathroom. That one gives me goosebumps to this day. The Shining is one of those films that leaves you feeling disturbed. You're gonna keep guessing what this movie is about. You're not gonna understand every single scene you watch, some of these scenes are absolutely ambiguous, and you're going to keep searching for answers even if you never get any. I've done a lot of research for some scenes in The Shining, and I still don't understand what they mean, why they are there. Stanley Kubrick is that kind of director that'll do that. Not everything is going to make sense. And that's why I love this movie so much, because there are a lot of questions by the end of The Shining. And it makes you feel a little bit crazy. Speaking of crazy, Jack Nicholson in The Shining as Jack Torrance gives one of the most insane performances of all time. He is a perfect cast choice for this role and there is nobody else that could ever play this role as well as Jack Nicholson did back in 1980. The dude has lost his mind. I'm sure while filming The Shining, this took a toll on Jack Nicholson. You have to give him credit because to pull off this kind of performance, you have to go to a different place. And it's not a kind of place that most people would ever want to venture into. Plus, I love how the dialogue was written for The Shining. This movie is one of the most quotable. It has a lot of great lines, especially coming from Jack Nicholson. And a few of my favorites include, I love you, Danny. Wendy, I'm home. I don't know if it's supposed to be funny, but for me, it's hilarious. Jack Nicholson is so crazy to the point where you're just laughing at him because everything he says is nonsense. Shelley Duvall and Danny Lloyd also deserve a ton of respect for their performances in The Shining. Danny Lloyd, for a child performance, knocks it out of the park, and Shelley Duvall playing Jack Torrance's wife, you can tell in this movie that she does not trust him. She is terrified of Jack and she will do anything she can to protect herself and Danny from this man. I even gush over the cinematography. There are a lot of long one takes. The movie makes the hotel feel overbearing. It looks haunted. Everything in terms of cinematography is nearly perfect. And because of the cinematography, everything else outside of the three main characters also feels like a character, including the hotel, the maze. These things feel like they're going to come alive and attack our main characters. They did a really good job in making these things feel like characters as well because they do play a vital role. I want to mention one scene that did shock me was when Wendy is searching around for Jack and eventually realizes that everything he's been writing over the past couple of weeks actually is just the same sentence over and over and over again. That left me looking at the screen with my mouth wide open. I could not believe it. That is such good writing. Now going back real quick to how this movie is extremely ambiguous, the ending of the film I'm sure has ticked so many people off over the last 40 years. And yes, the ending of this movie does leave a lot of unanswered questions. None of it really makes that much sense. You have to put the puzzle pieces together. That's what Stanley Kubrick does. He does not want to give you every single answer to every question. You have to think for yourself, draw up your own conclusions, 
or else it's just not as fun to watch movies like this. You almost get this what I call a haunting sensation throughout your body when that last scene comes up on the screen, seeing Jack in that picture from 1921. You're not sure why it's there, but it does make you feel a certain way. And for me, it scares me. It creeps me out. I don't know why he's there. I still don't understand it. But it's such an awesome ending. I really cannot think of a better ending for this movie. There is no better way to end The Shining. Stanley Kubrick did a fantastic job in directing this movie. The last 10 minutes or so is all out craziness, which is for the better. He saved everything for last. He did not want to make the opening of this movie as good as the ending of this movie, and it all makes sense because you leave on an odd note, which is exactly what the point is. It truly is cinema at its finest. Stanley Kubrick, God rest your soul. If you were still alive today, I'm sure you would still be making incredible movies. The Shining is one of your many masterpieces. I absolutely love this movie. Now, I do have a few questions about this film that I still don't understand. One of them is, why is Tony a character in the film? Of course, that's the voice that Danny talks to in the movie, but we never totally know why that's there. 39 years later in Doctor Sleep, we learn more about that ability for Danny, but before that in The Shining, I don't really quite understand why Stephen King wrote that in there for his character. I feel like a majority of this film focuses on the paranormal and supernatural elements of this hotel as opposed to Danny and his abilities for The Shining. I know the movie is called The Shining, but it never feels like this movie goes nearly deep enough for us to understand what this Shining ability actually does, which is a tad bit confusing for me to this day, but if you guys have any answers for me why The Shining ability is such a focal point in this film, please let me down below in the comment section, because for me, this movie is mainly about Jack Nicholson and everything that's going on in this hotel in terms of haunted stuff. However, that's not going to erase any perfect score that I drew up before making this review, so obviously I'm giving this cinematic masterpiece, The Shining, a 100%. Of course though guys, if you love The Shining or hate The Shining, be sure to let me down below in the comment section what your thoughts are of it. Originally, I was going to also review Hocus Pocus, Ghostbusters, but I'm not going to have enough time for that. I'll probably do that next Halloween. Actually, I'll probably review Ghostbusters around the time when Ghostbusters Afterlife comes out. That just makes more sense for me. Also, quick shout out to my friend Danny K, who gave me the digital download code to The Shining that allowed me to watch this movie for free this Halloween. Thank you so much, Danny. You are the man. I am so happy we've become friends over the past couple of months. If you guys have not seen his channel yet, it is Danny K Reviews. Go check it out. He does some pretty awesome stuff over there. As always, if you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Hey!